Uh, next up, the Maryland Terrapins. Five and seven last year, three and six in the conference. Returning starters, they got three on offense, four on defense. As far as experience, the number 99 returning most experienced team in the country, number 11 in the conference. New head coach, Mike Loxley, three and 31 as a head coach. He has never won more than one game in a season. Now, he was at New Mexico, so it was a little bit different. Uh, different but he, but he was also one and five as the interim head coach at Maryland back in 2015. Correct. So he's a dynamic recruiter, uh, but the process is going to take time for him because they are undermanned up front at linebacker. Uh, I mean, up front on both sides. Like it's it's just crazy. Quarterback Josh Jackson transferred him from Virginia Tech. He should win the job from uh, Tyrell Pigrome. Yep, Piggy. Uh, Running back Anthony McFarland Jr. is an absolute beast. Defense coordinator John Hoke, he's an NFL guy. Uh, his 3-4 scheme is going to be uh, really good for their all-Big Ten nickelback Antoine Brooks Jr. The biggest issue is fixing the culture. They've got some talent, but depth issues on both lines are just unforgiving in the Big Ten, especially in this division. Their over-under is 3.5. The over is minus 145. The under is plus 125. I mean, I got him at three and nine, so I might have to jump on that under. I, I don't trust Loxley as a head coach. No, yet. no, yeah, I don't either. And I think after you know the death of the player, after losing the head coach, after just everything that they went through, they had Matt Canada as the interim all year last year, and then they just I can't let him believe run off. Canada didn't get the job. I just Canada, can't believe Canada didn't get the job. He Canada's got some issues. I know that he's hard to work with, uh, but that I don't, I don't believe that's it. Though. Like you know? that's not the only, and I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I have heard from a lot of places that he is just kind of untouchable, like as a as a head coach. I, I don't know what's in the background. That's interesting, but I've heard from a lot of places that he's he's untouchable. And so so and and rather than stay on as offensive coordinator, and, oh, I mean, he yeah, no, he's I don't think he's even got a job right now, does he? Oh crap! I don't know. I don't think Canada has a job, and so I'll, I'll I'll look it up in a minute. I got them three and nine as well. Um, culture is a problem, but but also they've got to do something with their training staff. So we've talked about this when we comes to the NFL and watch. It's kind of weird. It's that DC area, yeah. Um, with the Redskins, it, it's not an accident that every team in the league. Has some injuries, but nobody has the problems that are happening in D.C. year over year over year over year to a point where players are saying, I'm not I'm not playing for you. Trade me. I don't want to play here because I don't trust your medical staff. This program has been through more ACLs than I've ever seen in my life on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, they went through in one year, three quarterbacks, multiple receivers, running back. I mean, it's just like, I don't. I don't know that that can be an accident, right? No, I think you're right. At, at some point in time, it it has to be more than just bad luck. Yeah, no, I think I think you're right. Anyway, just my thought. I I, I think with with Loxley in there, I mean, he kind of wiped out the the staff that was there. So well, hopefully, after the 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 situation from last year. The administration wiped out. Wiped out everybody. Everybody. Uh, Matt Canada turned down an offer to return to Indiana as offensive coordinator. He is uh, He's currently unemployed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Him with Tom Allen would have been awesome. I agree. Um, you know you know who I didn't talk about? Like, back to Indiana for two seconds. Uh, their new offensive coordinator, Kalen DeBoer, Fresno State offensive coordinator. Okay. And so... Yeah, so they they ended up uh, bringing in somebody that was pretty good, but yeah, Matt Canada currently unemployed. You ready to move on? Come on. Oh wait, I, so I've got him three and nine. What did you have, Matt? Three and nine. Three, three and nine. nine. Okay, so we're both at three and nine, which means that we could actually make money on the under there at plus one twenty. 